Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this very uh, cute, simple pot holder. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the magic ring like that and then we'll do a chain three so chain one two three which counts as the first double crochet and then we'll do 15 double crochets into the magic ring so we'll do double crochet one two Three, four, five, six, and continue until you have fifteen double crochets. Okay, so after the fifteen double crochets, I'm going to pull the yarn to close the gap. So this is how it's looking. And then after that, I'll end with a slip stitch here at the very top of the um, three chain that we made. Okay, so I'm going to go here on the top, one, two, three, and slip stitch like that. Okay, so I'll just do slip stitch. Okay, and then I'll put my marker over here so now in the second round we are going to start again by doing a chain three so one two three which counts as the first double crochets and then after that here in the very beginning uh double crochet we're going to start by doing double crochet one double crochet And then in the next stitch, we'll do two double crochets. And then we'll continue doing that. So double crochet. And then two double crochet in the next stitch. Again, double crochet, two double crochet in the next, and we'll continue repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after we are done with that now here we are going to do a slip stitch at the top of the chain three that we started with okay so we're going to slip stitch like that okay so now from here we are going to begin making the petals okay and for the petals we are going to start by doing a chain 11. So we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, after we're done with that, now starting from the second chain from the hook, we are going to do single crochet all the way to the end. 
for a total of 10 single crochets okay so we'll go continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way until we get here at the end okay so after we get here at the end here uh, in the ring that we made we are going to do a slip stitch here in the second row of the ring and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so after the chain one now in the other row of the pedal okay or uh, in the next step of making the pedal we're going to start by doing two single crochets so we'll do single crochet one and again in the next one we'll do a single crochet okay and then we'll do double crochet in the next five stitches so we'll do double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four and double crochet five okay and then after that we'll do treble crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do treble crochet in the next stitch and treble crochet in the next stitch okay and then after that in the top stitch here we are going to do eight treble crochet in the same stitch okay so i'm just going to make the hole bigger so i'll make treble crochet one And then treble crochet two treble crochet three treble crochet four And treble crochet five treble crochet six and treble crochet seven and treble crochet eight Okay, and that's how it looks like all the eight trebles are in the same stitch okay so now we'll continue to the other side and on the other side we're going to do treble crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do treble crochet and treble crochet in the next stitch okay and then we'll do double crochet in the next five stitches so we'll do double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four and double crochet five okay and then after that we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two 
and then after that we'll slip stitch into the beginning slip stitch over here at the end so slip stitch and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the next row which is the last row of making the petal we're going to start by doing single crochet in the next four stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and single crochet four and then after that we'll do double crochet in the next five stitches so double crochet one two three four and five okay after that we'll do treble crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do treble crochet and treble crochet in the next stitch okay so after that we'll do three treble crochet in each of the next five stitches so one two three four until we get here so i'm gonna place a marker here to know where i'll do the three treble crochets or you can just count okay so one two three four five okay so we'll do three treble crochet in each of these stitches so we'll do three treble crochet in the next stitch okay three treble crochet in the next And another treble in that stitch okay again three trebles in the next and then three treble in the next and three treble in the last stitch where i placed my marker like that okay so after that we'll do a treble in the next two stitches so we'll do treble stitch and treble stitch in the next stitch okay and then after that we'll do double crochet in the next five stitches so we'll do double crochet one two three four and five and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches 
so we'll do single crochet single crochet two single crochet three and single crochet four like that okay so after we are done with that this is the first petal this is how it looks like and then now we'll slip stitch in the next two double crochet at the base of the ring that we started so we'll go in the back loop of the double crochet here at the ring and slip stitch and go in the back loop of the next double crochet like that slip stitch and then we start again the same process we did to make this petal and then we're going to do again 11 uh, 11 stitches 11 chains so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then again you repeat the same process to make the next petal and then when you're done with this petal you're going to slip stitch in the back loop of the next uh, of the next double crochet two double crochet so back loop of this and the back loop of this and make another petal so you'll have a total of 12 petals like this so like this petals this is how it looks like just gonna arrange them here because I haven't finished it yet like that so they're supposed to go on top of each other like this okay like that As you can see so that's how it looks like when it's complete okay so when we are done making the 12 petals now we'll do the edging and for the edges I'm going to use this dark green color as you can see so I've already attached it over here And what I'll do is I just when I'm done with the last petal do just cut off uh, the main color yarn and attach the color that you want to do your edging with and you're just going to continue to do single crochet with a smaller crochet hook which is four millimeters for my case so I'll continue and do single crochet and single crochet all through the edges of the petals So you continue like that all through Okay, so continue doing the edges all the way around until we finish here where we came from where we started sorry okay so I'll see you here and then we can join the petals together okay so guys after we're done making the edging as you can see this is how it looks like 
so now we have to put the petals together and what I did is I arranged all my petals together you can see each on top of each other like that all the way around and then I used a yarn and a needle and then I joined this part just at the edge as you can see so just here 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 all the way round okay and this is how it looks like this is the uh, front part and this is the back part okay so now we are going to make the uh, the hanging loop and to make the hanging loop I'm going to attach my yarn anywhere in any of the petals here so I'm going to attach here on the top of this petal I'm going to use the same color as the edging color of the yarn and I'm going to do a chain one and then I'll continue to chain two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen let me see so I'm just going to do a chain 15 and then when I'm done I'm going to come here on this other petal and then I'm going to slip stitch like that and to do a chain one and then I'm going to cut a the yarn okay so that's it guys so what is left is doing the finishing and then you'll be done making the pot holder so guys I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also check out my other videos until next time bye